Hi everyone, I am Sumit K from K21 Academy. In this short video, I am going to talk about the things you should learn as an Oracle Server developer. So let's get started. So before I talk about the things which you learn as an Oracle Server developer, you must be knowing what exactly is SOA. So SOA is a solution for making two or more systems to talk to each other. Which means it is a middleware solution and would help to integrate different applications within an enterprise which might be built in different technologies or might be running in different platform. So if at all you are planning to you know develop your career as an Oracle SOA developer or as if you have already started learning Oracle SOA. So this is the checklist which you need to follow to make sure that you perform well when you start working in real time in Oracle SOA development. So I'll begin with the prerequisite. Prerequisite to learn Oracle SOA is only one and that is XML. So there are a lot of people who are worried uh, whether we need to know Java or SQL, PLSQL to get started with Oracle SOA. So my answer is no. The only prerequisite to learn Oracle SOA is XML. And within XML, we have multiple things like we have got XSD, uh, we have got Wisdom, we have got XPath, we have got XSLT and one another important thing which every SOA developer need to know is namespaces. You have to be very good with the concept of namespaces to be a good Oracle SOA developer. Once we understand these prerequisites, this would form the foundation or this would lay the foundation to learn Oracle SOA suite. The next thing which we need to understand is SCA which stands for Service Component Architecture. This is the architecture on which complete Oracle SOA suite works. Okay, now once we understand the SCA, we need to understand the steps to install Oracle SOA suite. It is very important for a SOA developer to be aware about the steps which are required to follow to install Oracle SOA suite and he also needs to know the significance of each and every step. Once we understand the prerequisites, we have the knowledge of service component architecture and we have the setup of Oracle SOA suite. The next thing which we need to understand is we need to understand about the Bepal. Okay, Bepal is basically a service component which is used for orchestration. Now within the Bepal, we have multiple activities like assign, transform, while, switch, flow, flow in, throw, terminate, empty, etc. So one must be aware about all these activities which we use in the Babel. Then we need to talk about the mediator. We need to talk about the human task. We need to talk about the business rules. Apart from this, we need to know about the spring context so these all like Bepal, mediator human task business tool spring context these all are the different service components we have in oracle SOA suit and among all these components Bepal is the most important one and it is most widely used component in complete oracle SOA suit so we need to be thorough with all these components once we understand all these topics we need to know about the dbm which stands for domain value map if you want to know more about this DVM, you can refer my another short video which I have already recorded on the DVM. Another thing which you know, need to know is MDS which stands for Metadata Service. We have got another short video on MDS. You can refer that if you want to know about the MDS as well. After all these topics, the another generic topic which is very very important for an Oracle SOA developer is fault handling. Okay, fault handling is nothing but kind of error handling which we do in Oracle SOA suit and fault, ha fault handling can be done in two ways one is we can do at the Bepal level and the another is we can do it using fault policy framework so these are very very important things which one need to know to be a good Oracle SOA developer once we understand all these things we need to focus on some advanced topics okay like how to do the performance tuning which is very very important because you have to tune your code so that it can give good performance once it is put into the production environments. Apart from this, you should be knowing about the dynamic partner link. Okay, if you need to decide 
at the runtime which service is required to be called then we have a feature called as dynamic partner link which is used then we have a concept of correlation okay which is very very important in case of asynchronous process then you have got adapter framework adapter framework helps you to basically connect with the uh, legacy applications we have got db adapter file adapter jms adapter aq adapter Okay, these are the important adapters which one need to know apart from all these things you should know like about the deployment techniques okay once you have piece of code ready with you how to deploy your code okay what are the different ways of deploying it and how to move the code from one environment to another so another thing which you need to know is about the config plan so once we are aware about all these topics this would basically make you a good SOA developer but one thing which is left is you need to know the security policies so if you need to secure your services how can you do that so you need to know about the security policies also to be a good SOA developer so these are the things which you need to know to become a good SOA developer and you know before appearing for any interview on Oracle SOA please make sure that you are aware about all these topics which I am trying to show on my screen now one challenge which most of the people face is like how to learn all these topics in a sequential manner you know because you have to learn it step by step to become a SOA developer you know you cannot learn anything randomly so we have a solution for you we here at K21 Academy make sure that these all topics are discussed in detail with hands-on example in our Oracle SOA development training so if you are looking forward to learn Oracle SOA development covering all these topics in a detailed manner you can come here and visit our portal which is nothing but http k21 academy.com slash SOA dev 02 okay you can come here and visit our portal which is nothing but http k21 academy.com soa dev 02 and you will subscribe for the webinars you can get to know how our training goes also you can get to know the complete details about the training when is our next batch starting so i hope you liked our video and please stay tuned with us for more short videos on different topics in oracle soa thanks for watching my video and please do not forget to leave the reviews below thanks a lot